Hey everyone, I thought I would take a minute and give you some ideas on um, how to study Isaiah. For the next five weeks in Come Follow Me, we'll be studying Isaiah. So here's some tips for you, just briefly. Um, first one, um, I'd just like to remind, remind everyone that Isaiah spoke primarily at three time periods. One was his own time, which included the scattering of Israel as they were wicked and rebellious and disobedient. The second time period would be the Savior's time. He spoke of the Savior's birth, his death, his resurrection, his just prophecies about his um, atonement. And the third time period is, of course, our time period, which is the gathering of Israel in the last days. So you know, keep those three time periods in mind as you study, and then um, as you're reading the verses, just kind of look for, okay, which time period is it talking about? That'll, I think that'll help you a lot. Um, the other thing I would like to suggest, I got two more suggestions. One is that um, you use the chapter headings. The chapter headings were not written by Isaiah. They were written by modern apostles and prophets, and they give you give us um, great clues into what each chapter is is um, talking about. So this is the chapter heading for chapter 1 as an, as an example. Chapter heading says, The children of Israel apostate, rebellious, and corrupt. Only a few remain faithful. So obviously this is... This time period would be of Isaiah's time when Israel was corrupt and scattered. Um, then the bottom of that heading says Zion will be redeemed in the day of restoration. So the end of this chapter talks a little bit about the restoration or the third time period, the gathering of Israel or our time period. If you swipe left, you'll see chapter 2 there. Isaiah sees the Latter-day Temple, the gathering of Israel, millennial judgment and peace. The proud and wicked will be brought low at the second coming. So obviously this uh, chapter 2 this chapter is all about our time, the gathering of Israel. One more, chapter 3, Jude and Jerusalem will be punished for their disobedience. Again, this is his time period when Israel will be scattered because of their rebellion. So if you go back to chapter 1, a second tip I would give you, if, if you um, study with an electronic device, I would encourage you to turn your device sideways like, like, like I have it here on the screen, landscape mode. Um, you'll notice those three dots at the top right. You just touch those. You'll see a menu come up, touch related content, and then you can see on the right hand side now you have all of the footnotes are listed there for you. What's really cool about this is as you scroll on the left, your related content on the right will just scroll with you. So this is really useful because in Isaiah, the footnotes are super, super helpful. I'll just give you one as an example, eight letter B, if you look over there, the daughter of Zion is left as a cottage in a vineyard as a lodge in a garden of cucumbers. So the word lodge, if you look at your footnotes, suggests this is a watchman's hut. Um, the daughter of Zion is a, an allusion to, or another name for Jerusalem. So instead of being a mighty city that it once was, it's now going to become really small like a watchman's hut in a garden of cucumbers. So anyway, your related content is super helpful. Um, the other tip I would give you is just as you study the book of Isaiah, always look for cross-references to the Book of Mormon. The Book of Mormon is the best commentary that we have on the book of Isaiah. So if you'll look at chapter 2, for instance, at the bottom of the heading, it says compare 2 Nephi chapter 12. So I would highly recommend you take the time to go to Isaiah, sorry, go to 2 Nephi 12 as you're studying Isaiah chapter 2 and look for what's in there, what commentary might be there, or how are the verses changed, but or what does Nephi have to say about him, or Jacob have to say about him, or even the Savior. So those are just three quick tips. One, know your time periods. Um, use the headings to determine which time period that Isaiah is talking about in that particular chapter. And then use your footnotes. If you're using your electronic device, tilt it sideways, pull up your related content, and check out your footnotes because they are pretty awesome. Thanks. Enjoy your study of Isaiah.